It is kind of scary when you are a parent and things are happening at school or anywhere else your kids might be and you're not fully informed of what's going on. Absolutely. Is there any other uh, you know, political agendas or topics you think are creeping into the school system that should be either eliminated or at least talked about? Right. Well, th those are the two main issues that, that have really caused me to say, wait a minute, we're going too far here. I want to get involved and have a say in this. Uh, again, if it, if it is the law, the school board will have the last say on how that is implemented in a classroom, and I would like to do that. Um, I'm a fourth generation Modestan. I attended Modesto City Schools back at uh, Washington Elementary when there was such a thing. It's now incorporated into Modesto High School. But uh, I attended all the way through uh, till graduation from Downey High School. Uh, I have stayed involved. My first job in 1979 when I got married was taken with Sylvan Union School District. So I have always had an education passion, I would say. So much so that after four years uh, in school for my son, in particular, one of them, and he still wasn't learning to read, I was very concerned. And I actually ended up taking my children out of school. I have such a passion for education that I chose to spend the last 20 years teaching my own children at home. Now two of my three sons have two degrees. My 31-year-old son has two children, like I said, going into the Modesto City School District now and I want to stay engaged and involved like I have. Um, there hasn't been a year over those 20 years while I was homeschooling that I wasn't attending uh, school board meetings and still um, having a say, find, knowing what's going on, uh, being involved. Uh, I have a real problem with the, the way children are taught to read today. I think that the problem with them going into college and not knowing. It starts when they're very young, like it did with my young, oldest son, Josh. And um, the schools were implementing a look and say method as opposed to teaching phonics. If we teach our children phonics and the 70 phonograms of the English language, there's nothing they can't read. So mm -hmm. consequently, my baby uh, only got the phonics, my youngest, uh, Matt, who's now 20, and uh, by the time Matt was about four and a half, he was able to read the newspaper because he was exposed to the older brother's teaching in the home. So there's nothing like a parent being involved. And one of the problems that I see and I would like to have changed myself is Modesto City Schools has not allowed um, charter schools to come into implementation. And I don't think anyone could contest the fact that when a parent's involved, whether it's in homeschooling, whether it's involved in a charter school, or a classroom situation, uh, when the parents are involved, the kids learn. They mm -hmm. always do. I have, uh, I have always failed to understand the problem people have with the charter school system. I can understand why they would uh, you know, disagree with the methods or anything, but when you have that many choices between like homeschooling, uh, the public schools, mm -hmm. charters, everything's going to be, you know, I think taken care of just mm -hmm. because everybody can go to public school and not everybody's going to be able to afford the charter or have the time That's to right. do homeschooling. That's right. Well, I, I had a choice when, like I said, I decided to be a stay-at-home mom after I'd worked with Selwyn Union School District. And uh, when I was very disappointed in the education and what I saw is declining test scores and standards declining. Uh, I had a choice to make. I could either go get a full-time job and put my kids in a private school or maybe a private Christian school, and I know they would have gotten an education that I could have approved of, or I could teach them myself, and I decided uh, to go ahead and teach them myself um, instead of putting that money out because I was able to provide an excellent education on maybe $500 a year per student. Modesto City Schools is spending around 9000 per student and we're still not producing good results. I think uh, it's time for some changes. We need more education in the classroom and fewer mandates. How is the environment for homeschooling nowadays? I, I remember reading, I don't know, maybe this year or last year, they were trying to change something about how homeschooling right. works in California. That's right, they did, and that was under our last governor, uh, Schwarzenegger, and uh, 
Fortunately, the outcry in California was huge, and he quickly relented that bill. So once again, I want to see parental involvement in education at whatever level, and I want parental choice. Parents need the right to choose what's best for their own children. I want to see no special protection given to any child. All children deserve equal protection under the law.